What's around everyone? Welcome to Exo Tarot Cards. Happy Pisces season to all the Pisceans out there. Happy birthday, day, happy born day, happy birthday, happy solar return to everyone. Today we are going to be talking about your dreams. Are your dreams real? Or are they a uh, delusion? Are you living in a fantasy world that's not going to happen? <laughs> because for some reason you are psyching yourself out in some kind of way. Okay. So we're going to bring out your dreams. You know, your dreams as far as your future. You know, anything that you resonate with when the word dream comes up. Dream, of course, can be spoken about when we talk about while we're asleep, you know, what's happening with the subconscious and figuring it out consciously <laughs> or the dream can trigger you as far as you have a dream, right? You know what I'm saying? You have a dream that all blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? You have a dream for your future. You have a dream for tomorrow. You have a dream for next month, you know? You have a dream for the next 20 years. You have a dream for the rest of your life, right? <clears throat> of how you want it to be. Or fantasize it to be. So, let's talk about that. Let's talk about, you know, those dreams during Pisces season. A lot of stuff going on during Pisces season, especially with energies happening with mutable um, communication, being able to uh, voice your opinion. Also, while you're finding yourself and standing stern within who you are, aka being comfortable with your own skin. Also, while figuring out what you want in your life, what you don't want in your life, who you want in your life, who you don't want in your life, what type of people you want in your life, you know, etc. Even when it goes down to you know, for the past, you know, few years, people are contemplating their work status, right? At the end of COVID. So that is still continuing on as people are becoming more aware of who they are, you know, as we go through these transitions um, externally and internally. So we're going to start off with Pisces to talk about your dreams, okay? Pisces first. Happy Pisces season. And he's talking, ooh cards are just flying. Time to talk, that's why. <laughs> What's around, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendants? This is your tarot card reading for Pisces season. So, this is all about your dreams, okay? What about your dreams, Virgo? What about your dreams? The Two of Pentacles, that's what's up with your dreams. So, you, 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 you want it. <laughs> you like, uh, yeah. Um, you're using all the energy that you have within you to get stuff done you know your emotions are, are you know moving and flowing and you want to make sure that everything is moving and flowing along with your emotions so if you're not happy with the way something is turning out you want to make sure that you prioritize and make sure that works out you know if you are um know that you in order for your dreams to come true you have to learn to be on time you know what i'm saying so you you working on that you know what i'm saying you working on okay what's more important in my life doing this first or doing this first that's what you're doing over here because you realize when you do that and this is a pisces season so you're being very mutable um pisces is a mutable sign meaning that you're you're flexible you're able to bend and move and and shape and mold and do all this which is it, it, this is like a card that really comes second nature to you because the mercury signs which you share with gemini deals with um multitasking and the magician and low-key you know, i saw the magician card as I was pulling out your card. And I, you know, I was like, huh, you know what I mean? And because I knew I was pulling for you. So it all ties in. You're using all those magician skills to make it work. And this might be new to you. So it looks a little wobbly, a little like, whoa, like he's doing that. But you're learning through the process and you don't mind going outside and practice it. You know, that's like going outside and practicing how to jump rope, but you're too worried about everybody else. Or, you know, something 
Maybe you want to do a skateboard trick or or um, a basketball. You got a basketball hoop outside. It's like going out there and practicing. You know, you suck. You know, this is a new thing, but you really want, it's your dream to get this done. You know, you, you know this person here is not worried about people looking out the window, kids going by, talking about, ha ha, you suck, you know, and all that kind of stuff. This is like, no, I got to get this done and I'm going to do it no matter what. So go ahead. Now, for those Virgos that's not feeling this, I feel you. I know you just want to click off, go ahead, because you know, you know you're not in your own energy. <laughs> you know you're not in your own energy. You are so unorganized that it's not even funny, you know? So I'm not going to even say no more because you are already beating up yourself on that. But you just, hey, the only thing I can say is maybe cut down your schedule. Maybe cut down your schedule where instead of having... 20 balls juggling the air you bring them down to just two prioritize like okay this and this okay i'm gonna focus on this and organize this and then after organize this i'm gonna organize that then once i get that done then i'll move on to number three number four number five number six or whatever but work out a plan because this card is saying during pisces season yes be adaptable be mutable but why are you being adaptable be mutable be a virgo Make sure it's organized. Make sure it's together. Make sure it's right. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful day and night. And then by doing that, you'll see that your dreams are starting to come true. Have a wonderful day and night during this Pisces season. <laughs>